For Bollywood news update, please subscribe our YouTube channel Bollywood Dangal and please don't forget to press bell icon. हाँ भाई पिक्चर है पिक्चर पहले था
Thank you. I think it's just the outfit, nothing else. So what did you like to say about Papa Don't Preach? Uh, well, Papa Don't Preach is one of my extremely favorite brands and, you know, um, and Shubhika has been doing and has done a wonderful, wonderful job. Again, brilliantly well. Uh, I love the colors that she uses. I love the work that she does. And today, I think she's blown me away with this entire art installation that she's, you know, I think you've seen outside. And uh, I think she, she just keeps getting brilliant day by day with all her designs. And I'm just here to, you know, kind of, um, I actually was kind of stalking her. And uh, I wanted to come and meet her and tell this in person that I love the way she, uh, she kind of, you know, um, she can kind of dreams about the outfits and then executes them. I think it's it's amazing, you know, uh, today uh, because uh, you know uh, we are uh, we are so traditional in a way that we are so used to seeing typical traditional colors in uh, mehendis and sangeets and weddings. So Shubhika's take uh, uh, and Papa Don't Preach is a completely refreshing take on you know weddings and lehengas and uh, mehendi and sangeet ceremonies. So I think uh, uh, it's it's just brilliant. I'm just so happy. Happy to be here. Okay, so also today's collection is special because it's Alice in Wonderland. Right? Yeah, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Yes, yes, so, yes. Uh, anything special? Well, uh, like uh, Alice was out of this world, and I think her, so is uh, Shubhika's collection. And uh, uh, if you if you come into this store right now, uh, Pernia's pop up studio is like a dreamland. It's like a wonderland, you know. And you you just come in and you you have forgotten what, what world you were staying in. And I think that is brilliant uh, to, to kind of, you know, to imagine this and then to execute this. I think all the girls and all, all the, the entire team behind Shubhika is uh, great and kudos to each and every member. I think they've just put up such a great, great art installation, like I said. So uh, I'm very, very happy to be here. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Uh -huh. uh, firstly, I need to like the outfit. I have to. I have to really like the outfit. Like today, also, I'm wearing a a, a, a very different kind of a sari. So, a sari is my thing. You know, I mean, it's it's like my second skin. So, I will keep twisting the sari here and there. And so, uh, you know, likewise, also, I think Shubhik also sent me a sari today. So, it's a it's a really beautifully draped uh, dhoti sari so um, i'm i'm uh, my my only thing is that whenever i am um, selecting an outfit i have to really like the outfit you know it's just just because fashion mein hai isliye aapko pehenna hai ye color aap pe suit nahi karta fir bhi aapko pehenna aisa to nahi hota so uh, something that you really like you should wear it and um, you should be really comfortable in it that's about it yes, okay so anything special you would like to share with your fans 2019 is what uh, 2019 I think a lot of my fans are going to see me in uh, very very different films and characters and uh, um, I'm really really looking forward to um, you know what their reaction is going to be um, because uh, we've just started filming my next uh, Hindi film which I will talk about later but today it's all about Alice in Wonderland and it's all about Papa Don't Preach and Shubhika. <laughs> I will uh, I will give you another interview for this then. <laughs> uh, well, I just want to say that um, I'm very, very excited because 2019 has opened up really well for me. And I'm excited that my fans will see me in different kirdars. And I hope that they like it and I hope that they go and watch the films. That's about it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I loved coming here. I think this was the stuff. <laughs> And this is the best thing that I did in the day today. So uh, please tell us something about your new collection. Uh, so the collection you see here is uh, inspired by Alice and the Girls on Both of you Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's it.
आप बहुत ही वाइब्रेंट कलर्स यूज़ किए हैं एंड ब्यूटीफुल मटेरियल्स अ नाइस कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ लवली मटेरियल्स एंड एंड वर्क एंड इट्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ क्यूट एंड सेक्सी आई आई वो से दैट एंड आई लाइक द वे शी हैज़ एन इंस्टॉलेशन मेड आउट देर विद अ होल स्टोरी टू इट एंड शी वेरी ब्यूटिफुली एक्सप्लेन द एंटायर स्टोरी ऑफ दिस गर्ल Uh, which I thought was really lovely and different. Okay, so some, something about Shubhika you would like to say? Uh, well, I must say her stuff is very different. I haven't seen something like this um, in a long time, and um, I mean I don't know what to focus on because every piece is so different from the other, and um, yeah, it's it's just lovely, very different stuff. Okay, since we are talking about fashion uh, today, so we we'll definitely like to know from you any routine which you keep in mind by. while i'm getting ready uh, i think for me what's most important is um, whatever i wear uh, i need to be comfortable in it uh, if i'm not comfortable i won't wear it uh, for me um, apart from comfort i think i will wear something that i think suits me not just because it's in you know at that moment okay so congratulations amita for khatro ke khiladi for the one a first participant to get the ticket to finale ticket so sabse pehle to dena chahenge wo feeling kaisi hai acha feeling hai jab itna hard work dalte hain kisi mein to get a result like that is is absolutely brilliant and bahut hi tough show khatro ke khiladi bahut hi tough show hai and um, to reach uh, honestly mujhe i i i didn't think i would reach the finale because it was quite a tough show to do but after seeing the results of everything that we shot i was quite proud of myself for even reaching the finals okay kon sabse zyada tough competitor aapke hisab se sare sare tough hai i mean you've seen what kind of uh, contestants but i think puneet was the toughest रियालिटी
everything everything i love the color and the fantasy and just the feeling of being in this alternate little magical bubble it was just the whole concept of the shoot and the clothes it's just i loved it okay uh, so obviously we are talking about fashion today okay. so what are the two two things which you keep in mind when we talk about fashion uh, we would like to know from you both Personal, personally, personally, uh, I don't know how to answer that question because fashion to me is my work also, mm-hmm. and it's also a personal thing, and I think it's the same for her as well. She's also a designer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. For me, it's luckily it's ever changing, ever evolving. That's what keeps it fresh and new for me. So I don't really have a very fixed definition for it. For you. I think um I would agree with her I don't have a fixed definition for it and uh I'm not someone who definitely goes with what's on trend perhaps I don't even know what's on trend right now but I see fashion as an extension of your personality it's a way to wake up every day and sort of express yourself in terms of colors or what you're wearing or just how you want people to view you and uh I think that's one way a very strong way of expressing just who you are and what okay, you like so let me tell you you're looking gorgeous thank you so uh, tell us something about the wearing uh, to place. tell them about what so I'm this wearing. was a part of the collection when we shot it and this was used in uh, a scene where she's making a decision with herself you know uh, talking to herself introspecting trying which to figure out which i do out, often yeah, in life as well trying to figure out what makes her happy who she is what does she want to do does she want to be on earth does she want to go back So it's that that kind of a uh, chapter where she's wearing this. So uh the silhouette is straight. Uh it's a no nonsense silhouette but yet at the same time it's got the shine, it's got the sparkle, it's got the happy colors. So, you know, even when we're in that state of serious and deep thought, uh a Pavarotti beach girl or in this case the wearer of this outfit always keeps that happy and the positive vibe. always good and looks sexy her. and looks very <laughs> sexy <laughs> if you have that body okay <laughs> <laughs> 2019 was a lot from your side to come you know right uh, talking about mental health yes, in india's yes. most wanted no so i'm not in india's most wanted but i am in mental health yeah mental health yeah. so uh, tell us something how is the preparation going So I finished shooting already. I shot for it last year in London, and now I'm just waiting for it to come out. And I'm also uh, starting season two of Four More Shots, which is a show that I'm in on Amazon and have made in Heaven, another Amazon show coming out eighth of March. So yeah, it is an exciting year. Okay. Lastly, what would you like to say? Something about uh, to your fans, what you would like to say? Where Papa Don't Preach, which is her brand, and Akuri by Puri, which is my brand, and uh, thank you for your love. Thank you. Bye bye. For Bollywood news update, please subscribe our YouTube channel Bollywood Dangal, and please don't forget to press bell icon.